morning students welcome to science lesson science lesson 1 unit 1.1 animal skeletons class grade 3 time 45 minutes book students book page 2 and 3 workbook page 1 and 2 topic 1 humans and animals in this topic you will learn more about the structure of the human body you will learn that humans and some animals have bony skeletons inside their bodies then you will find out more about the functions of your own skeleton next you will look at how muscle work in pairs to allow us to move our skeletons last you will find out about medicines that we can take when there is something wrong with our bodies our lesson objectives know that humans and some animals have bony skeletons inside their bodies know that skeletons grow as humans grow support and protect the body keywords bones internal skeleton move support so these are the keywords look at this photograph of a jellyfish jellyfish have soft floppy bodies with no bones jellyfish and worms have a water skeleton which is a water filled space surrounded by muscles jellyfish are supported by the water they live in what happened to a jellyfish out of water yes it's got a jellyfish it will die can you think of any other animals with soft bodies and no bones yes other examples include earthworms caterpillars slugs leeches and so on some insects such as locusts and beetles have hard bodies do you think they have bones no these animals have an exoskeleton but no bones this question from your student book page number 2 next we can learn about endoskeleton 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 means skeleton which is present inside an internal skeleton such as the bony or cartilaginous skeleton of vertebrates anything with a backbone has an endoskeleton next one functions of the skeleton what is the importance of skeleton yeah skeletons are for movement support and protection of internal organs and soft internal tissue such as nerves most vertebrate skeletons are made of bone but some such as sharks are made of cartilage bone is one of the strongest materials there is and it is light and flexible so we can go through the functions of skeleton first one is protection the cranium protects the soft tissues of the brain second one shape without the skeleton the body would be flabby and shapeless third one blood production red blood cells are 
made in the ribs and limb bones. Then fourth one, calcium storage. Bone is the largest supply of calcium. Fifth one is support. The vertebrae support the head. Then protection. The rib cage protects the delicate heart and lungs. Movement. The bones and joints work with muscles to enable us to walk, run and sprint. So children, these are the functions of the skeleton. First one, protection. Second one, give shape to our body. Then blood production, calcium storage, support, then movement. Look at the skeleton of a frog, bird, fish, and snake. They have a bony internal skeleton made up of loads of bones joined together and a backbone. The skeleton helps the animal move and supports as well as protecting the soft parts inside its body. What are the soft parts inside its body means organs and tissue. Hold one arm out in front of you. Feel your wrist with your other hand. What do you feel? Yes, they can feel their bones. It feels hard. They can feel their bones. Why isn't your arm soft and floppy? It has bones inside it and they maintain its shape. What does this tell you about your own body structure? It should, in, uh, it should tell us we have an internal skeleton with hard bones. Next one, animals without backbones. We can see freshwater sponge, sea anemone, earthworm, centipede, planarian, crab spider, fly, sea gooseberry, sea urchin, crawfish, and whelk. So these are the examples for animals without backbones. Next, we can go through the summary of the lesson. Some animals and human beings have bones inside their bodies. The bones are joined together to form an internal skeleton. Next one is smart lab activity. This is from your workbook, page number one. In this activity, what you have to do is, you can see here pictures of lizards, holes, jellyfish, frog, fish, and bird. So you have to track these pictures to the correct places. You can see no skeleton and bone internal skeleton. So jellyfish, jellyfish comes under no skeleton. So you can put it like this, then frog bony internal skeleton so you can keep it inside then fish comes under bony internal skeleton then bird bony internal skeleton horse bony internal skeleton lizard bony internal skeleton like that you can put all those things the next one this activity from your workbook 
page number two. Nora and patients visited the museum and saw these animal skeletons. What types of animals have bony skeletons like these? So write the names below the skeletons. So you have to write the names below the skeletons. I hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Thank you. Have a nice day.